Hey guys, um, today I will take you through how to set up Google Shopping feed using our app. Uh, once you log in with the Google account, this is the first screen that you would see. Um, this is the email ID that uh, you logged in with. Um, you have a couple of options here after the email ID. You can either use the existing Merchant Center account or you can create a new one. Uh, if you are someone uh, with approved products, with some history with your Google Merchant Center, you would want to continue using your same Merchant Center. But if you had run into errors earlier and you don't have any approved products, creating a new one would make more sense. The second part is selecting the countries that you would want to target. Um, if you have an English uh, language store, you're mostly eligible to advertise in a lot of countries. Uh, but it's not necessary that you have to choose all the countries right here. Uh, I would recommend if you're starting out, just one country, right? If you are targeting US and US is the primary country, select just USA. I would just go here and select United States here. If I want, I can select multiple countries, but I would go with just one country because it's easier to get approval for uh, one country and then you can add multiple countries uh, later as well. Uh, just give your contact details here. Uh, this helps us reach you uh, without any issues. Otherwise, it's a little difficult for our team to reach you if you if you run into any issues. Now, there are these are three uh, options that you would have. Uh, these are these are necessary for uh, your merchant center to be approved, right? If, you, if merchant center needs to have the uh, shipping information, and what we would we will do is we will copy all the shipping information that is available in your Shopify store and copy it to uh, Google Merchant Center. The same thing applies to tax settings as well. Um, another option is to claim your domain in Merchant Center, Center. So Google ensures that a Merchant Center is always tied with just one domain, right? And only one domain, one domain can only have one Merchant Center. So it's extremely important that if you are starting out, if you have not yet done your uh, domain verification and claiming in Merchant Center, select this option. Click on Continue once you are done with these. So in the back end right now, uh, we are copying shipping settings from Shopify, copying tax settings from Shopify. Uh, we are also verifying the uh, URL and there you go. Uh, I already had products. That's why these products are already approved. I had already had products for uh, this particular country. There is one final step, right? Uh, that is to click on complete setup. Um, here uh, we are already doing a check that I have a terms of service, I have a refund policy. Um, there are some checks that we cannot uh, do, uh, which is like having a valid payment provider, having that you have uh, sufficient contact information on your website. So typically you would need um, two of the three. Ideally it is uh, all three are recommended. The three things are email, phone number and address. If you have all these three settings, Sorry, all these three uh, information on your website, your account will very likely be approved. Otherwise, there is a high chance of disapproval. So click on complete setup here uh, to uh, finish your setup. Uh, what complete setup does is that it uh, pushes your product from uh, AdNabu and uh, to, to Merchant Center where these products will uh, be either approved or pending. In my case, my product was already approved, so it does not need any approval again. Um, but if you're starting out new, uh, it will first go from uh, approved, sorry, uh, uh, from opted in uh, to pending and then to approved or disapproved based on policies. Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. If you have any queries, please reach out to us. Thank you.